This is a tutorial how to um, install AMD drivers fully clean, not faffing around, not pissing about. Here's, here's what I do, anyways, personally. So I download IO Bit on installer. What I want to do is just right click, go to AMD Install Manager, uninstall, let it uninstall, press the install button. Like that, just pop up there. And, uh, And while that's going on, on the left hand side I'm going to control panel and I want to click on um, oh, box. Just to switch off my extended display there, never mind. I'm going to bring it up here, um, control panel. So I'm going to file options, I'm going to view, click on the view tabs, show hidden files, folders, and drives. I'm going to click on that, click apply, apply. Okay. I'll say go back into this, let's see what's going on with the actual it's gonna tell you ask you if you want to uninstall, you say restart later, this is what I'm doing. Might not be the official way of the crap. Um once that says that you want to just click on the advanced, it says no ready to do files found on powerful scan. And as you can see it's cleared from the list there. And from here we just restart. So after the restart, everything just looks enlarged because there's no drivers in there. Just to make sure everything is cleared, we're going to use C Patina, um, which is free. Um, right. Right, we use this, and we're going to click on Registry. Click on Registry, scan for issues. As you can see, well, yeah, it's picked up one AMD and a few more I think up here, ATI, whatever. all related to the drivers that were previously were installed so you want to click fix, select, fix selected issues, doing the backup, have a bothered, fix all, done. Once that's done, you want to manually go into uh, my computer and now um, prime C drive, whatever you can call it, I'm going to delete certain folders, so as you can see there, straight away, AMD folder, right click, delete that. Go into uh, program files, something there, no, other files, insert something there. And I'm going to jump into program data, something there, no. So, in the place where anything could be reserved for the user. Data, app data, roaming, maybe there now, local, nope, nothing there, that's brilliant. Normally, you will find the same form, we'll say. Um, what you want to do is now I'm going to uh, click on run, right click and run, reg edit. Turn, get into this drop down registry um, kind of uh, folder menu, and what you want to do is just go to most of these folders anyway. Anywhere you see software, click it, and you'll find the AMD folder that you just want to right click and delete. And that one's done there, and then we want to go back into the local machine software, right click. HK users. Anyway, you see software, and it's best we go through it and we find AMD. Uh, so we're just going through these folders here. Software, anything there, nothing. AMD, So everything's clean there. Uh, I've any no AMD files whatsoever on the folder. All the registries killed off. 
let's restart. So we're back. Now with everything deleted, <coughs> I just want to install the drivers now. No, no, in fact, what we can do is download a display driver and installer. Normally get it from 3D Guru. Um, website, right click on it, run it as an administrator. And it's going to prompt saying, Do you want to restart in safe mode? And yes, we do. So, let we start again. Right, we just restarted. It says it can't open. I've got a message saying you can't open. So, basically, what, it doesn't matter really if you can't open it, you can manually go in there, uh, downloads, and just trigger the exe. Right click. See what's going on. We'll get to this uh, window here, and it'll just basically, if you want to do a clean and restart, highly recommended button there. Second one is just get a black screen issues, and third one is the first time if you install the car, um, you'll be uh, pressing that. But um, obviously, I'm going to select AMD, NVIDIA, whatever the hell you're running. Uh, and I was going to click the first button. Let's do its thing. Yeah, you can just sit back and relax now and just restart, boot back up. Right, we're back in here again. So, we want to just install the drivers, which I'm installing the Crimson 16.1, 64 bit on the Windows 10. Right click, administrator. What I like doing is just killing an unnecessary program that man might interfere, even Steam, get rid of that. Um, that one as well, and basically we just click install and let's do its thing. Generally straightforward this is. Yeah, this is Windows 10. Um, if you haven't asked. Right, so this is going through its emission system process. Right, what I want to do is I want to click off the HDMI audio because I find that it just it doesn't really give me any benefit whatsoever and um, it's just adding on to the HDMI audio drives that are already existing so in some sense just to uh, keep it nice and simple uh, de-click de uh, de it and also ACP application de-click that as well because I don't really need it and it doesn't really enhance my experience so we click on the button at the bottom which is install and fingers crossed everything will run smoothly I'm running two displays here so I'm expecting this display on the right to come on. 2% install. Normally it freezes. In this case it hasn't yet. 25%. Oh. Come on. Right. Right screen is. Yeah, it's just come on now. 50%. Everything's been successfully installed. No freezes, no hiccups. And that's it. I'll just right click now. We'll start. And I'll see you when we get back. I'll just pull it back up. I'm going to right click AMD. As you can see, it's not Catalyst, it's Crimson. The menu's there. I'm going to right click. So click on the top. Bam. What we got? We have everything that we want. working nice nice fast responsive good let's hope that fucking AMD release more drivers often it takes the piss see you later